So it's a shame that you've had to come down here yep. and you've had to raise it if a colleague of mine has seen it. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're in Nottingham and we've just come to have a look at this FedEx depot. Now this one is located right next to the police station. Oh that's a nice little police car look. Operation Mini it says. Don't often see uh, little cars like that. They don't be like them ones. Now FedEx depots they don't normally have that big workshop type of thing at the back there. So I'm just interested to see what is this? Do they maintain their own vehicles in there? Because it looks to me like they do. So let's see if we can work it out from this sign here. So you are there and if we're looking straight ahead, they call it the VMU. So vehicle maintenance unit, maybe? And what's that behind it? Special services. So you would expect the offices and the warehouse, diesel refueling and wash bay. So everything else is normal, apart from these two buildings here. VMU and special services. So, and also what's quite unusual is this stack of white goods at the fence here. I mean, have these just been fly tipped? Or, or what? You know, that one's actually got a burn hole on the top of it. So if these have just been fly tipped and they are on FedEx land, then FedEx have got a, a duty of care to get them removed and collected. Or are FedEx collecting white goods now? Matey, do you know the white goods that are, that are at the side here? You've got a few um, old fridges, freezers. Do you know just at the side of this fence next to where the bikes are parked? You can see it, look, just over here, white fridge to keep your drink cold. Can you see them? You can see them, yeah? Why are they there? Oh, your first shift. Every time I go to places, it's your first day. What, are you security? Yeah, it's my first Oh, what, are you SIA registered as well? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it easy? Oh, he wants to get out. So is this job easy then? I'm recording the, um, the you've got some fridges, right? So what, what it is, white goods, like fridges, they can't just be left there. They have to be disposed of responsibly. You can't just put them in a skip. So we want to know and we've come here to find the, the truth. So is there anybody you could call? Because we can't ignore it. Yes, there are three fridges. You can see? Yeah, so you can call somebody for me, please. My name, Mr. Mr. Just say Mr. Yeah, regarding the fridges. There we go, we've told him our name, Mr. <laughs> oh, it's his first day, so I don't want to go too hard on him. I was going to say, let me see your SIA badge and all that lot, but there's no need, is there? When they're being nice, try not to go too heavy on them. But what an easy job, just sitting in there. He didn't even need to let the guy out because he had his own swipe card. So you swipe yourself in, you swipe yourself out. What does he do? Yeah. It's about the um, the fridge freezers. We've just had uh, a local, we've had a report yeah. to say they've been there a bit too long. Okay. You do know the, the risk that you can't just leave them there. You have to dispose of them responsibly as a business. I've got, I've 
say it's serious, mate, there was something to come and collect. So I'll go find out with the ops manager, mate, what's happening with them, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, do you agree that they've been there far too long? I don't know how long they've been there, but I noticed them this morning, mate, but I don't know how long they've been there for, to be honest with you. Because it was um, questioned whether it has been fly tipped or whether you guys are actually collecting them and putting them there. No, but we normally, I, can, I, can go, I can go find out where they've come from, mate, because I don't know. I don't know where they've come from in here, to be honest with you, mate. Right, okay. When you arrive to work, is yeah. it the first day that you've seen them? Today, it is, um, today is the first day I've noticed it, mate, yeah. So before I mentioned it, you saw them yourself? No, well, I noticed them, so I said, I've seen them this morning, so back when um, security was on about fridge freezer, that's why I've come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My colleague didn't know anything about it, he didn't, he didn't know what was going on about it, and I said, I've seen something near the gate this morning. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't notice it yesterday. Okay, so okay. I'll speak with the ops manager, mate, and I'll come back out, okay? Okay, okay, I'll wait to hear from you then. Okay. Um, what it is, we're online yeah. and we invite the members of the public to report wrongdoings to okay. us. Yeah. We then go on scene, make the video yeah. and feed it back. So we uncover quite a lot of corruption. Right. So I'm not going to tell you where I'm from, yeah. but everything is being recorded because I'm in the public area. Yeah. And we would like to know that FedEx have taken it seriously. Yeah, that would yeah. be the perfect yeah. solution, yeah. that would. No worries, mate. One second. Thank you. So there we go, a new angle. You can report wrongdoings to me or suspected wrongdoings. I will then visit the site and tackle the problem and ensure a solution is in place and the problem is rectified. I would say from the grass, I would say these have been here for maybe a week or two. I mean, you make your own mind up. Look at the grass there underneath. And inside, it's just completely disgusting. So what's the story? Hi, yeah. We'll just go around, we'll film wrongdoings, hopefully get a solution for the public that are concerned about it. So I don't authorise you to obviously use any imaging of me or anything like that. Yeah. Data protection. Well, data protection um, applies to CCTV cameras that organisations have. So because I'm a member of the public out in a public area, I can film. Unfortunately, it's the evidence. It's for the video. We'll go online. This will. Well, I don't. I don't appreciate you going online, and I don't. Well, we, going members online, of the public anyway, don't appreciate this. Yeah. I was not aware that that was there, to be honest. Your colleague told me this morning when he arrived at work, he saw it with his own eyes. Did you not see it this morning? No, because obviously when I drive, I look where I'm going. Do you want me to show you underneath where the grass is clearly showing it's been there for a long time? Well, that's fine. If the were put out there, they would have been put out for collection, for disposal. I haven't got an issue with getting them removed. That's not a problem because they should have been within our perimeter fence and organised for collection. So are you telling me that a part of your FedEx business is to deal with these goods and, and your business has put them there? I'm not saying that our business has put them there. All I'm saying is if they're outside our property and we're aware of them and they're on our grounds, then we will deal with it and dispose of it. Yeah, so the, the member of the public's argument is, why have you not done it until now? Why has it took me to arrive for you to, to prompt that action? Because I wasn't aware that they were there. Well, your colleague told me that himself this morning, he saw them. Many people would see them and you've got a responsibility of when you see something being done wrong, you need to responsibly dispose of these type of things. Well, I'd have appreciated if my colleague had actually come to me and advised me that they were there so we could deal with them. Yeah. But as I say, without, without knowing that they're there, obviously well, I can't take any action. It's just like, to... say for example, one of your fence panels was missing in this area. That would be a security breach, wouldn't it, for yourself? Yeah. Security yeah. That. So something, something that would be a breach for yourself, like a fence panel being missing or, or broken or damaged it during the night, somebody would spot it and report it back to yourselves because there's a benefit to your, your company. Yeah. But when it's something like this, where oh, it's not affecting us, people tend to turn a blind eye to it. I'm not. In all due respect, our depot and our station is very well maintained. Yeah. Probably yeah. One of the tidiest stations that we have. And obviously something that like that is not acceptable. Well, that's great. Hence why you've raised it with me. I wish my colleague could have raised it with yeah. me. Yeah. 
but now you've raised that, then I will deal with the situation. Well, that's great to hear. That's great to hear. It's a shame it has taken myself to come because as shown just here, underneath this particular one, you can see the state of the grass shows it's been like that for a long time. Grass don't turn out like that overnight. Yeah, it's like I say, if I'd have known that these were outside and on this grass, then they wouldn't have been here. Well, I, would, I would not, as a manager, authorise those to have been put there. Yeah, it's still not clear to me whether it's a part of the FedEx business and, and you've put these here yourself. Do you normally store these type of white goods inside, in the back, in the corner, anywhere at all? No, anything that, um, if we have replacement goods and goods are replaced, then what they will, we would do is we've got the recycling areas All right. around the back. Oh, you have for this type of goods? And, uh, we have recycling areas out the back and we call specific people to come and collect white goods or things of electrical nature. Yeah, the we registered a yes, approved so carriers. Got, so obviously we've got wood skip, general waste, recycling skip, and we recycled 70% of our, our waste last year. So, as I say, I would not condone this. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. That's really reassuring. And, and I will make sure that this is dealt with. Well, it's, a, it's a shame that you've had to come down here yep. and you've had to raise it. If a colleague of mine has seen it, I would have been grateful if they'd have raised it. Yeah, or even security. You know, I've noticed something unusual that's maybe been fly tipped overnight. Can we, can we, as a business, be responsible and, and clear it? Yeah. yeah so anybody at all within your company, but just for the record, then, because I'm unsure, does your business collect uh, used goods like this no, and, and dispose of them as a part of a, and a deliver the new and collect the old? No. We don't okay. Do a, we don't do a swap out service. Okay. Ours is totally a purely collection and delivery service, which is. What okay. We well, I would assume then that somebody has just fly tipped it here, and you've just not noticed. Would that be a correct assumption? Yeah, I've got no reason to. I, 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 I do, honestly did not know these were here. Well, that, okay. I'll so I'll with. now, um, I'm assured now it's in safe hands and within a few days it'll be gone. It'll be gone within about the next 30 minutes. Right, well, that's brilliant to know. Thank you so much for your time. And this case is now closed. Thank you. So there you go, guys. We got the action we all wanted from FedEx in Nottingham here. Um, he really did seem shocked that it was there. We needed a bit of um, prodding just to say, is it a part of your business? You know, was the depot closed at night and somebody put them there just to get them off their van? But it turns out that this is not part of their business at all. Somebody just fly tip them there and they're now gonna say, um, within half an hour, it's gonna be removed. So as you can see, it's starting to snow or hail, whatever you call this. Jesus, this has come out of nowhere. So we'll wrap this one up there. I'll just give you a shot of this amazing weather that's just coming down. Look at the wind blowing it all. You don't see that every day, do you? Literally in the last minute, the road's gonna be covered in what seems to be, it's not hail, it's snow. Wow! Look at that! Nottingham breakdown. Recovering one of the TNT vehicles, which we have discussed. TNT is now FedEx. Unmarked Volvo there, going out on a call. And we've also got the little Hyundai. But he is not blues and twos. So that's it. I'm gonna call this one a day because this weather is absolutely ridiculous. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up for me. I deserve it. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.